Hi, welcome you all to my channel, The Excelism. Friends, in this video, I would like to announce something which I'm going to talk for seven days as a course. The course name is Consolidation of Multiple Datasets Using Excel and Power Query. Each word of the course name is itself powerful. The essence of this course is the consolidation. Why I have chosen this course? Because many a times out of the questions which I get from professionals like chartered accountants, cost accountants and other MBA graduates are the people who are working in the companies, maybe in the HR or in the finance or in the marketing or sales. They say, Sharana, how the data in 100 Excel files, how can I append all the data one below other? How can I consolidate this entire data as a summary and so on? Considering the fact, the very important application of consolidation in our day-to-day -day work, I designed this course. I'm going to cover more than 10 case studies. It's not just the case studies, real-time case studies. In seven virtual sessions, each 90 minutes, from 1st June 2023, morning hours, morning 6 a.m. to 7.30 a.m. For every session which I talk, you will be having access for 30 days. That means after the session, you can go back and watch the same session. Whatever the doubts you are having, you will be in a position to answer on your own. Let's look into the topics what I'm going to cover. The topics I'll be starting with, very quickly I'll cover about introduction to Microsoft Excel, introduction to the Power Query, introduction to the data sets, consolidation using 3D sum. When in Microsoft Excel, in the same Excel workbook, let's say there are 30 sheets data is there. If the data is exactly in the same position, using 3D sum, how I can consolidate. However, in the same concept, I do explain about wildcards. Consolidation using consolidate feature, one of the most powerful feature since many decades. Using the consolidate feature, you know I can consolidate the data if the data sets are in the same Excel workbook, same sheet, or different sheets of the same Excel workbook, or even the data set from different Excel workbooks. You need not to write a single formula, just select all the data sets, your consolidation feature does great work for you. Combining consolidation feature with the pivot table, you all may be knowing pivot table, but how you can consolidate more than one range into the pivot table, very important concept. I'll talk about the tables in Microsoft Excel concept. Tables are one of the very important concepts which Power Query recognizes as an object in the Excel workbook. We'll talk about it very elaborately. Relationship feature in the pivot table. Do you know in 2013 version, Microsoft Excel pivot table got one of the functionality called relationship. You can combine more than one data set in the pivot table itself. We will talk about importing data into the Power Query, transformation of data using user interface in the Power Query. As you all know, Power Query is one of the ETL tool. You can extract the data from any source. You can transform it and you can load the data back into either Excel or Power BI or any other tool where ETL engine is Power Query. We will get to know how we can transform the data using the user interface commands in the Power Query. I'll also introduce you to the M functions. M means mashup in the Power Query, very powerful functions. More than 700 transformation functions are available in the Power Query. I'll talk about combined concept in the Power Query, which basically having two more concepts, append and merge. Append is the one which I talk about very elaborately using all these case studies. In XYZ workbook, there is one worksheet and there are 10 data sets in the same worksheet. How you can combine all those? 
in the same excel workbook so many sheets are there each sheet is having so many data sets are there still how you can append all those data sets let's say n number of excel workbooks are there each workbook is having one excel sheet is there how you can append all those data sets n number of workbooks are there each workbook is having n number of worksheets are there how you can append all those data sets not only that when folders are there in that so many workbooks are there in that so many worksheets are there how you can append the data sets this is not only applicable for the microsoft excel workbooks even if the data is in the pdf format how you can append all the pages of pdf data using the power query in microsoft excel how you can append n number of pdfs data together into one single table in your microsoft excel using power query let the pdfs be there in different folders but how you can combine all those pdf tables into one single table using microsoft excel power query not only pdf that can be csv file text file and so on these are all of the case studies i'll be using for the append feature in power query along with that one more combined concept in the power query is a merge concept i'll talk about it very elaborately again where in the merge i'll talk about different type of joining as you all know power query supports of microsoft excel six different type of joining left join right join full join inner join left anti join right anti join i'll be covering all these six different type of joining not only this whatever you learn throughout seven virtual sessions i'll be giving you one project where you will be using rbi data for the analysis and to use all the concepts what you learned during those seven sessions this particular project will give you end to end understanding about etl concept extracting the data appending the data and merging the data then what are you waiting for i request all of you can go into this link i'll be providing this link into the description also the course fees is 1999 for 7 days each session 1 and 1/2 hours if you are interested with the topics i have covered go on register thank you so much